I am Ravi Handa. Let's discuss a very, very basic concept that a lot of people get wrong because they don't understand the basics of it. In this question, we are given m and n are integers and then we are given a long equation and then we have to find out the value of m. So let's try to do that. Let us first see what are the prime numbers involved. Root 2 to the power of 19, 3 to the power of 4, 4 square, 9 and 8. So in all of this, the only prime numbers which are involved are 2 and 3 and their various powers are considered. Now the idea is whatever is the power of 2 on the left hand side, that will be the power of 2 on the right hand side. Whatever is the power of 3 on the left hand side will be the power of 3 on the right hand side. So all we need to do is we need to find out the powers of 2 and the powers of 3 on both sides. Hopefully they'll give us an equation that will be less intimidating than this one and we'll be able to solve it. So let's try and figure that out. First of all, we have root 2 to the power of 19, which is nothing else but 2 to the power half to the power of 19, which is 2 to the power of 9.5. Then I have 4 square. 4 square is 2 square square, which is 2 to the power of 4. Then I have 8 to the power of n, which will be nothing else but 2 to the power of 3n because 2 cube is 8. This is my left hand side. What do I have on the right hand side? I have 16 to the power of m, which is 16 is 2 to the power of 4 to the power of m, which is 2 to the power of 4m. And then I have 64 to the power of 1 by 4. 64 is 2 to the power of 6 to the power of 1 by 4, which will mean this is 2 to the power of 1.5. So I have now converted all the left hand side terms in powers of 2. I have converted all the right hand side terms in powers of 2. Power of 2 on the left hand side and the right hand side should be the same, which means I will get the equation for the left hand side. What is the power of 2? 9.5 plus 4 plus 3n from here. On the right hand side, what do I have? I have 4m from here and 1.5 from the other side. And this gives me the overall equation as, so this is 3n, if I take it to the other side, this will become 4m minus 3n, my variables on one side. On the other side, I'll have 9.5 plus 4, 13.5 minus 1.5 or 12. So now I have uh, one equation in m and n with the help of very simply the powers of 2. I will apply the same logic and figure out the powers of 3. What are the powers of 3 on the left hand side? I have 3 to the power 4. So that will give me the power of 4. I have 9 to the power of m. So that will give me 2m. This is what I get on the left hand side. On the right hand side, I have simply one term which contains 3. So this is equal to n. Now I need 3n here. So let me multiply this entire equation with 3. So I will get 12 plus 6m is equal to 3n. Let me write it in a format so that it is easier to cancel and everything. So I will rewrite this as 3n. I will take this to the other side. Minus 6m. 12 remains on the same side. So this is 12. And now... I add these two equations. When I add these two equations, n and n, 3n and 3n will cancel. I will be left with minus 2m is equal to 24 or I will get the value of m, which is what I was trying to find out as minus 12, which is given to me as option 4. So this particular question, I would say is really, really simple. All you need to do, all you need to be is to be comfortable with the paths and the conversion of paths. The concept uses power of prime numbers 2 and 3 will be the same on the left hand side and the right hand side. Hope you learned something from this. Thank you. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get notifications of future videos.